What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Terrifier 3 in this video here today. We'll be going over Damien, Damien Leone's comments about the upcoming film and how we could potentially have an idea of what to expect for the runtime for Terrifier 3 as well as further plot details that aren't too specific but are still giving us an idea of what direction the story could be taking courtesy of his new comments that he had with an interview exclusively with movie web now before i get into the runtime part i do want to highlight what damien leone highlighted as his goal going into terrifier 2 so he said that his goal with terrifier 2 especially was to craft a very formidable final girl who was very relatable and an ambitious underdog or in an obvious underdog against this seemingly immortal maniac audiences love an underdog especially when they are using their wits and courage to overcome extreme obstacles now he's absolutely 100 percent right there and i think he knocked it out of the park when it comes to the character of sienna the problem that i know i've seen a lot of people cite for terrifier 2 is that the runtime is is a little bit too much and i would argue that at least the runtime was used to accomplish damien's goal he fleshed out some characters who were more than just bodies waiting to be axed off sienna her brother jonathan and even her mother were a nice family unit to focus on and using the lengthy runtime to flesh their struggles over the death of the dad allowed us as viewers to grow attached to them or at least say hey you know i'm interested in this family making it through this in fact also what else what what additionally helped was that there were some teases of a connection between art the clown and sienna's dad we know that sienna died i think in a car accident but before that he seems to have been having some type of visions or some type of prophetic images in his head that he was drawing in his journal as we see that all ultimately played out during the finale of terrifier too so there's like a connection teased between art and this family so already that was another thing that they utilize to get us to invest in them even further to try to understand okay well what's going on between art the clown and this family and i've seen the theory that art the clown could be seeing his dad i don't really subscribe to that myself but they did a good job giving us people to invest in that weren't simply just here to be added to the kill count again though i can see why others think certain sequences like the iconic bedroom kill sequence goes on for far too long it makes the film drag at certain points well there might be some good news here today for those of you who thought that terrifier 2 was just a little bit too long or you completely hated the runtime altogether leone also said this with movie web when speaking about the runtime and also teasing some of the plot details he said the only thing i'm very conscious of when going into terrifier 3 is trying to make a film under two hours and pulling back slightly on the mystical fantasy element that was so prevalent in part two a fair amount of fans were dismissive of those two components but i personally love the fantasy element surrounding sienna and it is so crucial to her character and her metamorphosis as arts nemesis that being said there is a way to maintain that element thematically while not focusing on it too much visually he's not wrong about that but i will say this i like that he's aware of what the fans are saying and he has enough confidence to address it in a cordial manner when asked about it you know i'm not saying that other filmmakers don't do it but from my own experience it's very rare that i come across this type of stuff and i would argue that maybe he wouldn't do it as much if he were in the hands of one of those more commercialized studios like lionsgate your paramounts blumhouse even because i know people would love to see art the clown make it big like that but to some degree i can see why damien leone is a little hesitant to get into business with them because it would damp it would damper on his vision it might also take away from his ability to be as transparent as he is being right now with movie web granted that doesn't mean that that's exactly how it would go down if he was in bed with those companies or in business i should say not in bed <laughs> but diving into the next thing i want to talk about going back to the runtime it seems that we will have a shorter film next time but at what cost if there are a slew of new characters and no time is spent establishing them as important then we will just have a lot of meaningless deaths but then again it's just a slasher film still at the end of the day so do we really need every character to mean something to us no but i'm just saying if you have a lot of characters and there's nothing done with a lot of those new characters all of their deaths are going to be meaningless they won't mean anything to me they won't evoke any sort of emotion and i would argue that if you have a lot of characters at least some of the newbies should be able to get a death that makes me feel some type of way they're not just being 
Friday the 13th, if you will, because I would argue that a lot of the Friday the 13th sequels, that is the mistake of those movies. While I love them, I really don't care when people die in those movies, minus a handful of the ones that they, again, do what Damien Leone did with Terrifier 2, gave us a family unit to invest in, and then naturally, I did not want anything to happen to them. But if there's more than just that family unit present in Terrifier 3 and you're chalking on or chalking into the story a lot of newbies, I would hope that these newbies have some depth to them, have something for me to give a shit about if they die. But if not, that's fine, because again, it could be a story that's solely centered on Sienna, her brother, what's left of them, their mental state. Art the clown stalking them and maybe two to three newbies and if you have two to three newbies maybe at least one of those three newbies can be fleshed out enough to the point that when they ultimately bite the dust i at least care while the other two were just simply there for the kill count and obviously you can have your throwaway kills meaningless characters who are just simply here to die i'm not talking about those people but i'm talking about when you want to go for the jugular with characters who have been occupying a lot of your a lot of your film a lot occupying a lot of the screen and you've done nothing with them they're just basically here moving through and there's nothing being done to get me to latch on to them which i should be doing as a viewer but i like that damien leone again is aware of what you guys think about terrifier 2 and he's taking that into consideration when going into terrifier 3 he's saying he wants to scale back on some of those fantasy elements and also looking to do a movie that is less than two hours long in my honest opinion, I would hope that Terrifier 3 is an hour and 50 minutes. You know, people want a longer slasher. Not everybody, but I don't even think that I don't even think that the runtime, so to speak, was the problem at the end of the day, as much as it might have been okay, your pacing. That's really what it comes down to. You could have easily had a two hour and 21 minute film like I believe Terrifier 2 is, and nobody would have complained that it was too long. It might just come down to pacing. Certain sequences probably just shouldn't go on as long as they did, like the bedroom kill sequence and other stuff that has to do with uh, Sienna and her personal life and all of those struggles. While it was, again, enough time spent to get us to invest in them, I can see why some people might have thought that it was a little bit too much and they were just getting tired of it. They were looking forward to some more bloodshed. And I've also seen the argument that maybe the finale went on for too long. But we'll all see how Terrifier 3 ends up when it comes out. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and name this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.